beginning of the last year, I remember, we had promised that Tata Motors will outgrow and outperform the industry this year. I'm very pleased to inform you that we have grown twice the rate of industry. As a result, we have gained, gained market share. And as a result, it has given us big opportunity to create a larger stock of customers to serve for life. As I said, 51 weeks back, 6th April 2016 to be precise, we had launched Tata Tiago. In a very short span of time, we have been able to sell more than 50,000 vehicles on road. Bookings are increasing. At the last count, I counted it last night, we had collected, this car had, has collected 15 awards. Today morning I was told there's one more. So as of now, we got 16 awards on this car, one of the most awarded cars in this year. Immediately after that, we started working on preparing for our new SUV. Anyway, as you know, SUV market is growing, so we started planning our launch of Hexa, Tata Hexa. We launched it around eight weeks back on 18th of January. And since then, it has created new benchmarks in terms of performance, quality, and design. What changed with Tiago? I think Tiago was our first manifestation of a new design philosophy called impact philosophy. Impact through looks, impact through stunning design. Hexa took it forward, pushed the envelope further. But in Hexa, we tried very unique things in marketing. We went for full-fledged engagement marketing, or I call it experiential marketing. Idea was that we are so super confident about product that instead of ourselves shouting about it, we said, okay, come and experience. We created Hexa Experience, Hexa Cafe, etc. whereby idea was that customer can come hum himself or herself, experience the vehicle, kick the tire, feel the rubber, so to say, time in the market. I think India market is one of the most challenging market, and if I may add in the same vein, the Indian customer is among the most demanding consumers ever. He or she wants a stunning looking car, packed with features, the most advanced technology at the minimum price. And that is the challenge which all marketers have to met. And that is the only recipe for success in this market. I remember when we were launching Tiago, this question was asked by most of our friends like you. Sir, you are entering a market which is one of the most crowded market. I think fact is right. You are among the last to enter. Again, this fact is right. What makes you so confident that this product will work? And what I said today, will I repeat today, what I said today was that in my experience, when you launch is not so critical, what you launch is important. When you launch is important, but what you launch and how you feature pack is important. My experience is that even if you launch late, I think if you launch late, you have the late movers advantage, which is actually quite contrary to first mover advantage, because you learn from the market, you've seen what's work, what doesn't work. So when we launch, then we launched Tiago, we are very confident because if the, you have a product which is aggressively designed, which looks stunning, which is feature loaded, and which is priced appropriately, then irrespective of time when you launch, it works. Okay, when we launched on 6th April last year, that was the first case we were making, and we were super confident, but these doubts were there, but I think Tiago set all doubts at rest by its success. The same question can be asked to us today. Again, in a very crowded, compact sedan market, we are entering when, when the market is on decline. In your compact sedan category, first time decline. What makes that confidence? I think what makes us confidence is like this. In the hierarchy of demand drivers for a product, the first thing which comes to customer mind is the looks. Often said, style never goes out of style. And this is what we say about our new latest car which you are going to launch today, the Tigor. Tigor is out about style. So if it's stylish, you will see feature-packed. It has got some of the most advanced features, dynamic and static. And price says it will be announced uh, very shortly, will be very aggressive. So what we say is that today we are going to witness not a notch back, not a hatchback. We are going to create a completely new proposition called style back. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, the, uh, that's for you, the Tigor. We are very confident, like Tiago, this will create new benchmarks in product design. It will have a huge road presence. This will be for that discerning customer who wants a vehicle, who, which has a road presence. 
which is not only a mode of transport, transport, transportation, this is actually an extension of the consumer's personality. This is a reflection of consumer, consumer's attitude. That's what the style back will do to the market. So thank you very much. May I request Vivek to take in his automotive uh, life. You know, he's, he already owns his first car, most probably a small hatch, and he's looking to move up. Now, why is he more challenging? This is a customer who's probably well settled in his job now. He's looking to ex expand his family, and his new car will be his calling card. He needs to establish his status in society, and this car will allow him to leave that signature style when he arrives in an office party or arrives at a social gathering with his family. But why is he demanding? That's because this customer has varied needs, varies demands on this upgrade that he's going into. What are his demands? Firstly, as I said, the car needs to be a style statement. It needs to show that our man has arrived in society, and he can't be like everybody else in the market. He needs a distinct style statement. At the same time, this car will be used for day-to-day -day drives to office and back, so it has to be easy to drive, fuel efficient. He has to move his family, maybe within town, maybe to the neighboring town to visit family members, and it has to be large enough, spacious, comfortable, and safe to carry his family and his luggage around. So as you can see, he needs a combination of style, he needs space, he needs comfort, and more importantly, he needs a technologically advanced car in terms of connectivity, so the car keeps space with his other aspects of his life. So it's really demanding. What are the options this customer has today? He can move to a larger hatch than the one that he has. The larger hatch today in the market offers good design. It delivers on design the style statement. It offers the technological elements in terms of connectivity and other aspects. But where it lets our customer down is on the practicality aspect. There's not enough space for his family. He can't move around his family with their luggage and other elements. On the other side, he can move to a small sedan. The sedan definitely delivers in comfort and space, but honestly, the sedans today are, de are you know, poor on design, and it really does not give the style and status element to the customer. So really, there's a challenge here, and the customer has to compromise one way or the other. Now, this is where we started creating the concept for, for the Tata Tigo. We have two DNAs today in Tata Motors passenger cars. One is aggressive design inside and outside, and the second is best-in-class infotainment and entertainment package. To this, we added a premium fit, finish, and feel so that the customer gets a kind of feeling in the car which is one or two levels above where the car is going to play. We also added great functionality because this is a car where he's going to spend a lot of time in and functionality is going to be key. So with this, when we know what the customer wants, who is the customer, and the kind of concept we want to create, we went into the design, design stage. Tigor is going to be the third iteration of the impact design philosophy. To put it very simply, impact design is a philosophy which says a customer needs to fall in love with a car at first sight, and then over the period of ownership, he, his love continues and grows for the car. And that is a, a, achieved through a lot of fine design elements which the customer discovers as he owns the car. So with that, we began the design journey. We started off with a few traditional body styles, but very quickly we realized that this is not going to work for us. The customer, today's customer, we need to create a concept which is completely new which ensures that when the customer buys the car, there is no compromise for him. And thus was born the Tata Tigor Styleback. Now the Styleback is obviously has a fantastic silhouette. It has great road presence, but it's not only about the silhouette. It has many elements inside and outside, which really makes it special. I'll start with exterior. The, the split LED taint lamps, the dual colored bumper, with the signature Tata grill, the smoke projector headlamps gives it a very, very upmarket feel on the exterior when the customer sees it on the road. The theme continues on the interiors. We have a very smart dual tone interiors. 
extremely pre premium and high quality finishes inside. As I said earlier, the customer in this car feels he's driving in a car one or two segments above and luxurious patterned seats which are extremely